Oh, mag-adlo na tong tanan. Are you experiencing pain on your hand and arm while riding? Don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to ride more smoothly and more importantly, pain-free. Let's go! Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm your occupational therapist and my goal is to help you be more consistent with your therapy at home. When you are riding too long or too hard on a piece of paper, sometimes you will see that your mus the muscles of your hand and arm is twitching or is spasming or even cramping. That is what you call a focal dystonia. No, that is not a name of a pasta dish. Focal dystonia is what happens when you are experiencing those cramps and muscle twitches when you are riding too long. So what's happening with focal dystonia is when your brain is sending wrong signals to the muscles of your arm and your hand when you are riding for too long or too hard. But don't worry, I'm going to show you some exercises and stretches to help you relieve the pain and also prevent it from happening again. So if you're ready, let's get started. All right, so the first exercise is fist pumping. This is not the exercise that fist pumping like you are in the concert or in a bar. So fist pumping, what I'm saying is just opening your hand and closing hard. So we are going to make a tight fist and open wide, okay? So let's do 10, okay? Close your hand real tight and open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is fist pumping. The next exercise is wrist twisting. Okay, so we're going inwards first and then outwards. So this will improve the flexibility and the mobility of your wrist. Okay, you can also hold a pen and pretend like you're waving a magic wand like you're in Harry Potter. Okay, so let's go ten inwards first. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, ten outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is wrist twisting. Next exercise is thumb touching. Okay, so we are going to just touch the tips of our thumbs with the tips of our fingers, the rest of the fingers, okay? This is a very important exercise in picking up small objects like a pen, a toothpick, your spoon, or a fork, okay? So just follow along with me, okay? So you're making an O with your thumb and your finger, okay? So with the index finger first, and then we'll go with the middle, ring, and little finger, okay? Just follow along with me. Thumb with the index finger, like that. Middle finger, ring finger, little finger. Let's go back to index finger, okay? Thumb and index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger. Back to the index, middle, ring, little finger. Now let's go back to the ring, middle, index the little finger ring finger middle finger index middle finger ring finger the little finger and let's go back ring finger middle finger and the index finger and that is your thumb touches the next exercise is the stop sign so you're just going to extend your arm like that straight out. Fingers facing up or pointing up and your hand facing away and forward, okay? And you're just going to pull your fingers back. And this is really good in relieving the tightness of your forearm and your hand, okay? So just pull your fingers back 15 seconds. I'm counting or 15 counts. So let me count. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now let's do the other side, okay? 
So, palms facing away, fingers pointing up, pull back. Don't do this in the middle of the road like you're really stopping the traffic. People might think you're crazy. All right, so pull your fingers back, 15 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And that is your stop sign. The fifth and final exercise is the prayer pose. So bring your hands together and fingers straight and pointing up, elbows out like this. And we're just going to move your hands back and forth. Now, while you're at it, pretend like you're praying. Or even better is pray and meditate, but just don't fall asleep and forget what you're writing, okay? So hands together, fingers pointing out, and you point it out in a way and then back up and towards you, okay? So let's do this 10 times, all right? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is your prayer pose. And that's it. Those are the exercises that can help you with your arm and hand cramping when you're writing too long or too hard, or if you're doing your homework or your paperwork, okay? So if you find this video helpful, please click on that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and click on that notification bell, and that will really encourage me to do more videos that can help more patients who have no access to therapy or who are willing to be more consistent with their th therapy at home. And just a reminder, consistency is the key and never give up. Until next time, bye lam.